Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, June 13th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice right here the ES has had a major release from this narrow range. This eight day range we've talked about before had a, uh, a potential move of 370 plus points and we've already seen it come to pass right now you can see right here this blue uh, line right now showing uh, at least 390 points already and we had a compression right leading into that last week uh, again on that final hour of the day we saw a breakdown from the range and we mentioned that uh, there was enough energy there to push price back to the previous month's low and here we are basically uh, not even two full days later you had one hour this day you had this whole one day and now you have heading into the pre-market already here uh, on Monday we have uh, already basically reached the previous month's low so a significant move and breakdown from that range we could be looking at further weakness up ahead toward the previous year's low that's what we mentioned before that uh, we got this close to the previous year's low bounce and this was building energy for another move into that level. So we have 36.52 half as the next target down uh, in terms of a major target to reach. And again, as I've mentioned before, we're not just going to magically bounce precisely off the previous year's low and go. We're probably going to drive through that level by some degree uh, before attempting to recover that level. So there could be more weakness here as deep as 3,200. This is something we mentioned when we were sitting right on that 4,000 level that we could be looking at a drop into 3,200. So there could be another 30 plus percent drop from that point. Right now, again, we're sitting right on 3,800 with the potential to drop at least another 600 points perhaps into this zone. So again, this is looking rather bleak at the moment. Uh, typically speaking, if we are going to bounce here, we may see some sort of significant rejection a lower low rejection here that could keep us back in the range but this has been a market this year that every single bounce has been sold for new lows and uh, again 36.52 at the very least is still ahead if we take a look here at the NQ this one's down 2.85 percent here already heading into the RTH open again this is another one where we were uh, looking for a significant breakout from this range we got that breakdown and we've already seen the expansion down to the previous month's low price. We've already seen uh, 1,400 plus points into this upper red dot right here from this compression boom into that upper red dot just in a few days. So again, a major elongation of this profile here, a major breakdown from this narrow range. We were quantifying this narrow range the entire time, mentioning that the potential here was for a downside break and for a test at least back at the previous month's low. Now in terms of further downside price action we could be looking at a move that takes us somewhere in the vicinity here of around 10,000 to 10,200. That's the next major CLVN below but we could be looking at further weakness that could take us even lower. Um, so again right now we're, we're looking to see how price responds to this double bottom zone if we see some sort of lower low failure perhaps there's a bounce opportunity that can keep us in the range but again as I mentioned before any bounce is still an opportunity to sell in the current market taking a look here at crude oil this one's down 1.4 percent at the moment and is pulling back into the Pima trigger zone again energy right now has been the the driver to the upside uh, energy stocks have been leading to the upside and any pullbacks that we're seeing right now could offer an opportunity to buy the dip. Right now we're seeing a pullback into the Pima trigger zone. That's a bullish Pima trigger zone that has been trending higher. Uh, we, we're seeing price right now attempting to hold the previous sessions low. And again, on any pullback here, this could provide an opportunity to buy the dip and see this thing continue to flow higher. Uh, even a, a, a pullback as deep as the 116, 115 zone right now is an opportunity to defend for a shot at pushing this thing up. So again, on any pullbacks here, multi-day pullbacks, it could provide an opportunity to buy the dip and watch this thing continue higher toward that 125, 126 zone up above.
taking a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin down 17% right now. A major downside break. This is something we've been gearing up for for a while. I mentioned before that we are building out this tremendously narrow range. And typically speaking, uh, we don't just magically bounce out of this range. Instead, this is a range that can tend to lead to major weakness down below. And I likened it to something like this before where we were building this range. And then all of a sudden, this major drop occurred uh, back here as well. And then a big drop. And so again, we're seeing that move. This is the lowest levels we've seen in a couple of years 23885s right now uh, we mentioned before that if we're gonna break down from this range there's about 10,000 to 13,000 points of range that could be seen ahead and to break eight, uh, 28,000 would open up at least 18k down below 18k would also coincide with the S25 uh, right here this is the yearly S25 of the pivot boss pivots that's right at 18 to 11. So again, we could be looking at quite a bit more weakness down below. Uh, now again, if there is some sort of significant rejection that happens by the end of the day where we look something like this, perhaps there's a little bit of a bounce up. But again, as we mentioned before, uh, this market right now is just very difficult to see it going up. There's no major catalyst to get this thing going up. Instead, uh, everything is pointing to more weakness up ahead. We do have the FOMC statement and rate decision later on this week, Wednesday. Again, uh, a likely rate increase. And we also have the press conference afterwards with Fed Chair Powell speaking. Fed Chair Powell speaks also pre market on Friday, so it's going to be a Fed heavy week. And again, what Fed Chair Powell and the FOMC statement says could uh, have an impact on, on further prices in equities and also in crypto. We take a look here at Ether Futures. This one's down 25% right now. A major violation of the 1700 level. It closed below 1700 for the first time here in a long while on Friday. Today opening uh, or Sunday opening with a major gap down and breaking downward. This is the futures chart where it shows a previous year's low but last year the futures didn't start till around February. So if we take a look at the actual uh, cash chart right now, you'll notice that 717 is the actual previous year's low. So again, we're gunning for that level. Uh, price took out the 2791s, and right now we're seeing a push down towards 717. So hard not to see 717 not reached. We also have value back at 382. So again, a big time decline here, a major sell off especially in the futures of over 25%. One other thing here is we mentioned from the beginning here that this key range right here, very, very important, major key range, bounce back, and uh, that's the range we've been watching. Over here there was a trap in reverse. Then we had this box that formed below the low, and now we're seeing the big downside expansion. I mentioned from the beginning here that that level uh, the 100% target is right here, and that is 90250. So we're still working downward toward 90250 just to reach the FOI, or rather, just to reach the uh, the key range target. But again, that doesn't mean that we stop there. We still have that 717 previous year's low that could be even lower. So again, major major weakness across the board for all the markets: ES, NQ, also Bitcoin and ether futures uh, right now only the dollar higher at the moment um, with everything else mostly flashing much much lower so again uh, very bearish at the moment we'll see if there is the ability to find a strong low today otherwise we could continue to see further weakness ahead that's it for now we'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the week good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care